Good morning. How's Wednesday so far? It's only just started, I know, if you're in the UK. Um, what time is it? I meant to ask this. When this goes up, it goes up at 7am Wednesday morning. What time is it where you are? I know it's early hours in some parts of the States and all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, just let me know that. How are you doing? How's the week gone so far? Halfway through. Very exciting shave for me, this, for two reasons. Uh, firstly, you will have seen my, um, if you're on Paul's Wetheads on Facebook, I did a small video uh, showing this thing arrived. The, um, the new Gillette Heritage. You've probably seen many others uh, showing their pictures and stuff like that of the, this reason, um, videos and that. And I've purposely not watched any videos of this because I knew it was on its way. A little pamphlet comes in it. Uh, that's that and this is inside the box so a three piece non-adjustable um, a very Edwin Jagger head um, better built than what I expected to be fair because I had a had an idea I don't know why it was going to be something quite tinny sort of Parker you know that thin uh, no offence to Parker, by the way, but um, that type of thinness. Um, but, no. Now, that it comes with a pack of Gillette Platinum Blades. So, well, I'm going to use a similar. I'm not going to use them. I'm going to leave that in the pan. I'm going to use a Gillette uh, Silver Blue in it. More or less a Gillette shave this. So here it is. That's what it looks like. And I'm going to give you an idea. This is the Gillette Heritage. And this is the Edwin Jagger DE89 head. Look at the heads. Very, very similar. So, um, that is it. It's heavier than I thought it'd be. It's head heavy. Um, so I expect it's going to be similar to the Edwin Jagger, but I'm going to try it. Try this and try that and see if it's the same, just in case people are interested. Now, the second thing, I'm very chuffed with this. My new brush has arrived. Could we uh, cue the music, please? Thank you. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? Um, the reason I'm proud of it, obviously, is their knot is the tuxedo knot. Um, but I designed the colour. This is a handle they already do, but I asked for a black top with an orange clear resin handle. Um, they didn't originally sell this. It's called Cist, what do they call it? A citrine handle. So whether they sell it without my logo, I don't know. Um, in that colour, they may do. There's enough interest, I suppose. But uh, they didn't sell this colour before. Um, and you couldn't get it anywhere. So I'm very proud of that. That'll mean a lot to me. And Mrs H, I've shown her, she prefers this to my other one. The um, Oh, it's in the other room. The other Paul H one. But uh, yeah, so I'm very proud of that. So what do you think? Let me know. Be honest. Um... There is a link in the description of the video to this brush if you want to go and see it. There's some good photos of it um, in the, on their website. It's a, yeah, so it should be fun now to use it. I'm excited. So two good things, two new products I'm very proud of. Um, as I say, it's a Gillette shave, so I'm going to use the Gillette Classic, the normal shave cream. As you can see, I've used it, uh, you can see the dents on it, I've used it many times. And we'll see how the brush does. There should be plenty there. Now the razor, I have uh, sterilised it, because um, I do that with most, well, any new or used. 
I got a uh, antibacterial soap and I use a toothbrush and scrub it and then rinse it in hot water and uh, dry it off. So without further ado, Gillette, double packed, grease proof paper here. So what's your shave today? Just a quick one and out the door or is it uh, something nice? Well, not that the uh, quick one out the door isn't nice, but you know what I mean. So there you go, sits nicely. Gillette blade, Gillette razor. Gillette, ah, sits nice. There is overhang, slightly. Well, yeah, I felt worse and I felt better, but uh, there is slight overhang there. So, um, wet the brush. <laughs> so, um, well, in fact, I have wet the and honestly, I've, um, what I do is, when this arrived, I give it a lather in an antiseptic soap and rinse it, only quickly, and rinse it and let it dry. But, um, very nice. Synthetic, so it just needs soaking. So here we go. It's first outing. <laughs> so this brush, Somebody will ask me which is your favourite. Um, this one really, because it means more to me because uh, I asked for the colour, if that makes sense. Can you see that there? Let me just show you something. I'm going to bring the light in. Oh, maybe it's too much. It's a sort of clear resin. I always loved the idea of an orange handle. Nice scent. It's just a Sort of a basic scent, but it's a nice scent. Tell you what, be good. Gillette is um, bring out a um, another shaving cream. Beautiful. Oh, bring out the original. Um, that's what you should do. Bring out the original Old Spice. Because I think the same company, Procter & Gamble, I think they own, if I'm right. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's rinse the face. Very nice. So here we go. There it is. Oh, and a decision's been made about the goatee, Van Dijk, and um, it will come off the end of November. Because uh, the reason I'm growing it is for the awareness, cancer awareness, and so it's only fitting it should come off, really. And I'm not shaving any of this um, exactly as it is. That's very nice. So it's a nice soft knot, similar to the others I've got. Um, but it's enough backbone to do its job. So here we go, Gillette Heritage. Heat it up. Yeah. So you're okay, are you? Let's have a see who's there. Right. Linda. How are you doing? Happy birthday for today. Wednesday. Happy birthday. Hope you have a great day. And uh, I hope you do something nice or you go somewhere nice or you have something nice. But have a nice day, all the best, many happy returns, and regards to Stephen. Here we go, first pass, Gillette Heritage. Oh, 
Okay. Now quickly, I want to take the blade out and put it in the Edwin jacket. Just bear with me. Sorry if you're not interested in the sort of comparison. Because I'm only doing it. I'm. I don't like to compare things. I use it as it is and give it my thoughts on what it's like. But people ask, so here we go, Edwin Jagger, no? same blade. Oh. Okay, so there is a slight difference actually for me. The Edwin Jagger, I can feel the blade slightly more than I can in the Gillette Heritage. So it makes it uh, a bit more aggressive. Very, very slight though, very slight. Um, and you probably think it's the same head, but there is a difference. So, um, Wow. Back to the Gillette Heritage, you know. Yeah, it'd be interesting if you have the both razors, try it. Um, but this is with this Gillette Silver Blue Blade, brand new. Um, the only difference is I can feel is there's a slight, as I say, you can just feel the blade slightly more. Um, maybe hardly, hardly worth mentioning it, but it's there, so there is a slight difference. Feels very nice. Wow, look at them whiskers. <laughs> okay, back to the, we'll wet it up a bit. Oh, on this, sorry, I said there's a link that they are, I think that, yeah, they are selling these if you want one. With my name on it. If anybody asks again, just in case. But I'll put a link in there. Very proud of that. It means more really this one because of the, as I say, the colour and the the emails back and to back. Is that right? No, that's not right. No, is this one right? Nearly. <laughs> and then one day she emailed a picture of a prototype. I <laughs> said that's the one. <laughs> Don't change a thing. Yeah, so here we go, Gillette Heritage across the growth. Very smooth. Very comfortable. Good grip. It's a short handle. I don't mind long or short. Cream's nice, good slickness to it. As I say, basic scent. Very comfortable razor. Wow. 
with this blade it's very smooth um, and it feels good to be fair as I say it's I don't know why I was expecting it to be a, a cheaper build than it is I mean it's not the it's like it's not like a stainless steel and it's not um, but it's yeah it's not uh, not the worst of it it seems a good quality Not the best quality, but good quality. So here we go, third pass against the growth. The is really nice. Keeps nice and clean. This feels solid. Very nice. So it's the same aggression as an Edwin Jagger, um, basically just as I say, for me personally with that blade there is a slight uh, more feel of the blade in the Edwin Jagger DE89. But it's only slight. And the strange thing is, it could be, this Gillette head could be an exact copy of that. So you might think, well no, it can't be different, because it's the same, they're using the same head. I don't know if they are, but that's how it feels. That's the honest opinion of it. For me, anyway. Very comfortable. See, in the mirror, I've said it before, it looks perfect there to me. And yet in that screen, and when I look at it back, it looks down here somewhere. No, that's right. Anyway. Give me measuring tape out, shall I? <laughs> and good luck with yours if you grow in them on. And it's not felt so bad, um, it's not sort of annoyed me or anything, but I have sort of put sort of beard lotion and stuff like that in it in the, in the past. So, um, you know what time it is now? Paul H. Films brush and Gillette Heritage pickup time. Three to one, pickup time, baby. Okay. You have people asking sometimes, excuse me, what's all this um, pick-up time? Are you after women or something? Are you picking up women? Are you... <laughs> no, no, no. It's just to uh, pick up the old where well, you've missed. Except I tend to pick up blood. Go till I can't go no more.
Mm. Very comfortable. That cream is far better than I remembered it. It's going to wet. Oh yeah, good slickness. Perfect. Cold rinse. Wow, that went sure. Right. Oh, wait a minute. Nearly messed up then, Alan. Just a minute. There we go. Put some in the beard. One arm in. There we go. Now we can rinse again. No issues today. Oh, that's even colder. Wow. What are you doing to me? <laughs> that nice that little thing there. Oh, oh this is beautiful. With a capital B. Okie Um I'm going to do it back to front today. Somebody did ask about this in the comments and I'm going to do it as if I'm going out. And this is what I do normally. It'd be like Thayer's or Alum. Then we'd have the aftershave or whatever. But I'm not doing it today. I'm going to put... Oh, sorry. Gillette. Aftershave balm. It's quite thin. And the only reason I do it this way is as I say if I was going out and I wanted or I was using an expensive aftershave like um Credimentis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then I'd use this. But I'm not gonna use it yet, because I want to put a bit of that on, the old uh, muzzy. As a fellow in work calls it, Scouser. How's the old Muzzy, mate? <laughs> muzzy, moustache. Right. It does make a difference as well. Softens it. Keeps it behaved, shall we say. Right. Now the exciting one. I use this if I've used it at all for a long time. Lockitan, Loxitan, Lockitan. Order Vetiva, Order Toilette. Beautiful sort of woody, the cedar wood in it, nutmeg, uh, a very earthy, woody scent. I love stuff like this. <sighs> Can get the thing off. So it's going to be sprayed on. Go on, have a sniff it. Nice, eh? Beautiful, lad. Uh. <laughs> You'd love this. Right. <laughs> what have we used then? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? We've used the old Gillette Heritage, well, the old, the new Gillette Heri Heritage, Heritage. Three piece, non adjustable. Um, beautiful box. That's the original reason I bought it, because it comes in this beautiful sort of. Gillette box which they're renowned for. It has this sort of velvety feel interior. It's um, like a plastic coated in velvet I think in there. Uh, I'm going to keep them blades in it because I've got plenty of Gillette ones. Um, but the razor is better than I thought it was going to be. It's a better build quality. The head heavy. Um, 
it looks good. Uh, what can you say about it? Three pieces did the job. It feels for me, um, it's a mild, top end of mild in aggression. Um, no, not quite mid aggression, I don't think. Just on the top end of mild. Um, it's a very nice, smooth razor, uh, comfortable to use, diamond knurling. And uh, yeah, really nice. I'm glad I got it. So it's better than I thought it was going to be. Really nice. And then we've used the Gillette Silver Blue Blade, brand new. My new Paul H Films brush. Let me just rinse the. Uh, so you can have another look. I mean, it may not be your thing, but it's something I've always wanted. I love this sort of see through colour. Uh, I'll tell you, well, I got the idea as well. This one here is similar. That's a similar. Um, clear resin sort of thing but um, yeah that is it I chose the black and the orange resin clear and I'm very proud of that and that's what it looks like tuxedo knot on the top very nice worked well soft and there's good enough backbone I mean it's only cream but it's good backbone I can tell that it would do well with the hard soap as well I'll put a link in the description if you want to go and have a look and see it um, so thank you to uh, DS Cosmetic for, for doing that and working with me with that. It's uh, really appreciated. Thank you. Very lucky. We've used the Gillette Normal or Classic Shaving Cream. Had that for many years. Um, we used Alum. Hello, Alum. We've used um, the Gillette Aftershave Balm. Used it back to front tonight. There. Beard Lotion. And then we've used the L'Occitane, L'Occitane, um, Odor, Odor Vetiver, beautiful stuff. We'll see how long that lasts, but it's nice stuff. Quite expensive that was, about £30 I think I paid for that. Got two of them, another one there for the, when I forgot I had them, they're in the back of the cupboard. Anyway, don't go on Paul. Um, that is it, I'll leave you to it. So many thanks. Uh, for watching yet again very excited shave i really enjoyed that very proud new razor new brush so all the best have a great week have some fantastic shaves um linda have a great birthday anybody else if it's your birthday have a great day and um, i'll see you on sunday for the weekend shave all the best